joining me on the line now from Manila is Rafi Pima from Manila's GMA7 network. Rafi Pima, first of all, just take us through what's happened there today. Well, just a few minutes ago, officials here at the uh, International Airport declared the situation under control. Uh, initial reports from uh, the police indicate that three persons have been uh, killed after uh, operatives from the uh, Special Weapons and uh, Tactics Group of the uh, Philippine National Police uh, stormed the control tower of uh, the Nino Aquino International Airport uh, Terminal 2. Uh, we have received the uh, initial reports that those killed were all members of the group uh, that took over the control tower of the uh, International Airport here in uh, Manila. About uh, three people uh, entered the control tower uh, at uh, around 11 p.m. local time. That's about uh, five hours ago. And uh, they were allowed inside because they were led by the former Air Transportation Office uh, chairman. Uh, there was no clear uh, demand from the former Air Transportation uh, chairman when he took over the control tower. But uh, initial, uh, in, uh, initial reports say that uh, he was uh, making demand for changes in uh, the government. Now uh, officials here are saying that uh, the crisis is over and they're just recovering the bodies of those killed, uh, which includes the uh, leader of the group identified as uh, the former air transportation office of uh, the uh, NAIA Terminal 2, and uh, his name is uh, uh, Colonel Kip to return to normal. So the situation under control now, but a, a, an extremely frightening incident. Were any passengers at any stage, do you think, in danger? Um, there was no passengers because uh, at around... Uh, 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 the, the situation happened at around uh, 11 or to about 3 in the morning, and uh, normally uh, there are no flights uh, here at the Manila International Airport. Uh, flights here begin at around 4 in the morning, and the uh, situation was uh, put under control uh, just after those flights uh, were to uh, begin, and there were no passengers uh, here in the near the terminal, near the tower. There were only journalists and uh, police uh, members here, and there were no civilians. And the colonel, uh, they were, uh, he was interviewed on local radio here, uh, and uh, he was uh, saying earlier before uh, the, the 